What we did earlier this year in June was we came down and we cut it to the ground so that it's not super tall when we come back to treat it. After August 1st, when it would typically flower and treat it with glyphosate, and you typically want to cover it at least 70% of the leaves, and it should take about two weeks to start declining. Okay. Mm -hmm. What happens if you miss that window? Like you have it on your property, it's this tall, what should people be doing? And you miss the June cutback. Should, yeah. should people be doing something or should they not? Should they wait? You can still treat it. It's just a bit more risky because you're treating it at a higher level and the potential for pesticide drift to happen. Okay. And drift is like it's on other plants. Yep. Okay. yep. And yep. or you. Or, or yeah, or other people. What else have you found to be effective, if anything? Like, you know, salt, vinegar, goats, smothering, tarping, whatever. Anything? I've seen goats keep it down, but I haven't seen anything besides chemicals completely kill it. Okay. What about digging it out? Um, when they're really small and say it's an isolated plant and it's yeah. earlier in the year, yeah, you can dig it out, but I would say also monitor it because yeah. any roots left in the ground can send out new shoots.